I've been getting requests for more information on various things and uh, one thing I thought I should probably cover is how I'm watering the straw bales in case uh, there are folks out there who are wondering about that. I've seen people who string drip irrigation lines on top of the bales and uh, use uh, soaker hoses and that sort of thing and I suppose you could probably water them by hand but I'm too lazy and don't have the patience for that since uh, when you try to do something like that sometimes a lot of water will just roll off the bale so what I've got is drip, ir drip irrigation going and let's just look at this one right here I just have a quarter inch drip irrigation line going to each plant. This one's a little pepper here. But what I've been doing is uh, I've been watering for 30 minutes a day, unless it rains an inch or more. Let's look at the back side here. I have a half an inch line that runs to my faucet. And then I have a quarter inch line that runs up the back of the bale and it has a little stake here. And I have, I think these are one gallon per hour drippers. I think they come in half, half gallon per hour, one gallon and two gallon. Uh, so watering uh, half an hour at a gallon per hour means that I'm watering each plant about a half a gallon. And that's been working out pretty well. Uh, when they're loaded with fruit, I might have to bump it up a little bit. I've just been kind of watching the plants and seeing how they're doing and if they look stressed at all. Like on the days we're getting over a hundred, I might have to bump it up a few minutes. But I usually check them in the morning when I water them. And then I check them again in the evening. And make sure they're doing okay. Like for instance, these eggplants here, they produced a lot of fruit. There's some on there that need to be harvested right now. So when they're loaded with fruit uh, like that, if they look stressed at all, I might run the drip irrigation for maybe 10 minutes in the evening even. But that's kind of been what I've been doing, just using the drip irrigation. It's pretty easy to use once it's set up. I've been running them for a half an hour a day most days. Been working pretty well. I'm really happy with the way the straw bales have been working for us so far. And these little peppers on this bale are just now starting to get going. These were the last two bales that I planted and So they're a little bit behind the ones with the tomatoes down there and the other eggplants. But this eggplant is going to be really loaded. This is long purple and they produce a lot of fruit. I also have a matoyo over here and a fish pepper in the middle. And this uh, tomato over here in this bale has produced well, it hasn't produced, but it's got a lot of fruit on it. So we'll be picking some of those soon. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see a couple of very small tomatoes, which is pretty good considering our really hot weather. I hope this video helps a few folks. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.